What's up guys, it's me Eric B and welcome back to the channel. So I want to talk to you guys real quick about sport bikes versus supermotos and get your thoughts on it. So I love sport bikes and I always will whether it's going to you know, be this one or I upgrade to a 1000 or something like that. We'll always have one in the garage for now. But I do like the supermotos and I did ride a Suzuki DRZ 400 SM. I thought that thing was awesome. Um, I like the price point of it and you know it being my first supermoto if I decide to get one it looks like it's simple to work on and and all that other good stuff so um definitely looking into something like that and i like the fact that you can you know not only ride them on the road because they come with road tires and everything like that you know ride around with your boys do wheelies um pretty much go anywhere with them but then if i want to i can also go off road with them throw some dirt tires on it and, and have fun that way so yeah so real quick i'm also heading down to my uh my friend hannah's house she just picked up a kawasaki dirt bike uh, i forgot the exact model of it but i just wanted to check it out see uh see what it's all about and uh she literally just started riding motorcycles not too long ago and started up a youtube channel so i'll leave her information down uh, in the description below and uh let's get to it <laughs> I left the gas station yesterday, the audio got all jacked up. For some reason, uh, I had moved my mic, and then it was super windy, so I didn't like it. So I'm redoing it again. It's still super windy today, so hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, supermoto or sport bike? Even though we all know that I just said I'm probably gonna keep a sport bike no matter what, and then the supermoto will be my second bike. And going into that, if I was to get one, that would not be my primary uh, motorcycle. It's a fun bike, but there's still going to be times where I'm going to want to, you know, get my adrenaline rush, hop on the old sport bike, hit some twisties, and, uh, you know, drop a gear and disappear every now and again. The big thing with supermotos is the fun factor, man. Even though they're not built to go super fast or anything like that, I mean, they are quick. Don't get me wrong. You know, they got down low power. Um, you can still get up to, you know, 90, even 100 miles an hour in, in some cases. But it's not the same as like a sport bike. So, I mean, you know, you can just ride that thing around town, hit some wheelies, um, take it off road, stuff like that. It's just a super fun bike. Nice. Um. KLX, what is this, like a 250? It's a KLX 140 Nice. He is the tallest uh, model of the 140 with me. Sweet. So this is Hannah, say hi Hannah. Hello. <laughs> what is this back here? Is this like a... It's a, we call it a butt plug. The butt plug. The butt plug. Butt, 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 butt plug. What is this back here? The butt plug. <laughs> to keep like water and dirt out when you're not uh, actually riding. What's up, you going to let me take it up the road and back? so quiet. You need an exhaust. <laughs> it takes like five minutes to warm up when it's cold. Should we take this out? Butt plug. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. It's not quiet now. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, Hannah just started a YouTube channel, so you guys gotta go check it out. It doesn't have a lot on it yet because she literally just started it a few days ago, so. Uh, above 25. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my gloves. Might need those. Okay. Now this one is a bit small. The DRZ is a lot bigger. <laughs> I can actually flat foot this thing. I don't know where the dirt is at. Don't know how much gas is in here, so I don't want to go too far. Wait a second. Oh, that's someone's house. I don't want to do that. Yeah. See, I could get used to something like this.
<laughs> oh yeah. I don't know guys, what do you think? I like it. So if I get a supermoto, I could throw some dirt tires like this on there and go have fun, you know, in the dirt if I plan on hitting trails and stuff like that. But I think I can get tires that's uh, multi-purpose where it's on-road, off-road. And then, you know, if I'm just driving down the road and I find some, you know, dirt to play around in, I can, uh, I can do that. Sweet. Had to get a couple photos. The beast and its natural habitat. This is definitely not street legal. It's another playground. Oh. How was it? Awesome. If you stole it, I have pretty good collateral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just noticed too, I didn't even bring my phone with me, so I, <laughs> I was like, well, dang, I can't call nobody. I would get something, this is too small for me. Yeah, I could see you on one. <laughs> my next purchase, my mom would die. <laughs> Later, dude. Later. <laughs> So both bikes have like their ups and their downs, you know, they they shine in certain areas. And I think the Supermoto all is like a nice all-around bike. Man, they're just like super popular now. I've been watching a lot of videos, you know, seeing a lot of guys uh, with them doing the builds and stuff like that. And I see them around town. So there's one issue with the DRZ that I hear a lot of people talk about is it being carbureted. And I guess that's its one downfall. Um, it's a super light bike. It's simple, easy to work on, um, but then you got the whole thing, well, it's carbureted, and I don't want to deal with, you know, messing with jets and, and all that stuff. And then I hear the myth about, oh, well, fuel inject is better because, you know, it makes more power, it's more responsive and stuff like that. I guess in some cases, it might be a little bit more responsive, but personally, I don't think there's much of a difference if you have it tuned correctly. I could be wrong, you guys let me know. Some of you guys are more versed in, uh, you know, the mechanics of carburetors. If you have a Supermoto, especially a DRZ, and let me know your thoughts about it. And then what one would you guys recommend that I get? This would be my first Supermoto, so that's why I want to mess around with the DRZ. Like I said, because it's cheap, it's simple to, to work on and stuff like that. Also, how many of you have a sport bike and a Supermoto? And what, what one do you like to ride the most? The other thing between like the DRZ and like uh, something like a KTM and stuff like that, I heard the DRZ is super light compared to that bike. The DRZ is only a little over 300 pounds. So the cool thing with the DRZ is that it comes from the factory already built as a supermoto, which is pretty awesome. I think there's a couple other ones out there that are already like that as well, like the KTM, the Ducati, um, stuff like that. I'm not real versed in the whole dirt bike and supermoto game yet. But yeah, and then you get a, uh, ones like the Yamaha, which you actually have to convert them. And they're really good bikes too, once you do that. It's just, I don't want to go through all that. I just want one that's already, uh, that's already built up. But yeah guys, just a quick vlog on that. Just wanted to get your thoughts. Like I said, I'm new to the whole Supermoto game. Uh, do you think the DRZ is worth it? What else is out there? I know a few other brands are out there like Husqvarna, Ducati, KTM, Yamaha, Honda. But yeah, just let me know. As always guys, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.